So this is the deal. I got two vintage frames and we can either use black poster board or white. I think we're gonna start with black. Any idea what we're doing? We have a bad discovery. Let me tell you about the lessons I've learned. Be a major as is situation. And you don't want that. Good morning, everyone. So this video is about the lessons I've learned in real estate. Um, so our house is listed and we've gotten three, not complaints, but some points brought up about things we needed to do, which we've done two out of three. One was fix the transoms that were missing. Just were lazy, never put the transoms. It's where the tile meets the, the wood. If there's an empty strip, you need to put like a like a connecting piece. And so that those were missing in two areas. Where I had patched the roof because of a leak, I never fixed the sheetrock on the ceiling. I just like patched it, but I didn't smooth it out, texture paint. So it kind of looked like craters. I fixed that. The other thing is our falling apart deck. All this wood is pretty much rotting. See, all this wood. And so we have my husband down here. He's going to remove a lot of this wood and replace it. In my last video, GD's discounts. I got this for $10. You get the night dress, go. Surprise for my husband, taking him to this like Niagara Falls hotel in the water. Let me tell you what happened. So I had seven kids. I had a mommy makeover in 2017. Then I got pregnant with my eighth baby. It gave me a food paw, made my arms jiggly, my thighs. Like I could just never, I could never get back right. You know what I'm saying? It's like, all these kids, they won't let me be great. No, actually my eating disorder won't let me be great. Like I eat, I eat, I eat. I would have totally worn this before, but I'm just not confident in this right now. Make sure this is on here good. My You're fixing a lot of stuff. Huh? Okay, so what happened was all because the gutter wasn't lined and it was years and years of soaking wet, we discover a crevasse. So all this wood has to be replaced. A lot of the wood underneath this part, it's all dry, it's all good, but the rot ends right there. So we're gonna replace this plywood. Come on, let me put the air on. So I have makeup on and makeup makes me sweat. So, lesson number one. Don't list your house until it's dialed in and it's fixed up, okay? Don't leave any margin of error for people to say, oh, look at this, oh, look at that. Now, when we first looked at this house, we were so excited to be homeowners again. We weren't really picky enough. Okay, the second lesson I learned. Okay, so you know we bought a duplex back east. Why do we leave the heat on? So every month I am paying for heat. So I'm about to fly out there next month and get it all dialed in. And so turn the heat off so I can stop paying for heat and not one unit, but two units unnecessarily. So I'm paying $100 a month so I'm paying this mortgage as well as the other mortgage on top of $100 a month, on top of garbage and other utilities for nothing. I'm heating the place up for nothing. So I heated it up all winter. So that's lesson number two. Make sure when you buy a property and it's vacant, don't leave the heat on. Okay, lesson three in your real estate journey. When you're making an offer, bargain. So with the other people, we should have said, okay, we'll take it, but add smoke alarms in all the rooms, add methane detectors, or carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide detectors in all rooms. They would have easily done that. And that way the place could have been more dialed in for section eight, because our goal is to rent it out section eight. You know what I'm saying? So now we have to fly back and make sure all those things are done. And then we're gonna have a city inspector come in and tell us if there's anything else missing. So when we put an ad for rent, we can say section eight applicants welcome. And then when the um, section eight inspector person for the tenant comes in to approve the site, it'll already have everything in place so that there, will no, there won't be any barriers to running to section eight. So that's the other lesson I've learned. When you're at the bargaining table for the home, bargain. You know what I'm saying? If you want them to add smoke detectors, 
tell them to add smoke detectors. If you want them to put an exit sign on the back door, tell them to put an exit, exit sign. These are such small, minor details that I'm sure they will do. So anyways, those are the three lessons that we've learned. Last lesson I learned. When you're looking for your home, it's location, location, location. It doesn't matter how big the house is or anything like that because you can always expand on your home, but you cannot, in most cases, pick your home up and move it to a different neighborhood. So when we picked our house, I fell in love with 4,300 square feet. But what I didn't take into consideration was the politics in the area, um, the area, the amenities, and so now I'm paying for it. And that's one of the reasons why we're looking at other properties and potentially selling our home. So that's another lesson that I just wanted to um, touch on. Okay, so I'm stuck in a train. I went all the way to the vintage shop. The one thing I wanted was sold. I'm gonna put a picture here, but I did get a couple little things which I can share when I get home. Let me know guys, what kind of vlogs you wanna see if you like you know, real life talk, or if you like real estate, if you like thrifting, if you like hauls, if you like cooking, if you like DIY renos, keep me updated. So I got this on Facebook Marketplace a while back. I got this one right now. We are going to create some art. Mm -hmm.